Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a quick quick review on the Kylie Jenner lip kit. Now I actually finally got my hands on one and you guys know I live in the UK and every time I buy from America I have to pay for customs and shipping and it just, it just becomes so much money and like I paid a lot of money for this, okay? So I'm just gonna let you guys know what I think of it and how it's been working for me and if I like it or not, how long it lasts for and all that jazz but we'll just jump straight into this video. I just finished filming um, a tutorial on this look and that will be up on Friday so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for that. I got the shade Brown Sugar. As soon as I saw this colour I was just like oh my god I just need it so I didn't even think twice I just got on her website as soon as it came out and took it. I thought they were gonna like go out of stock straight away but these ones didn't actually the brown sugar I think I believe is still in stock um I just feel like she has a stock more controlled now so th there's always more available I guess I do want to get some more things from her but I'm just kind of contemplating it this is 29 or something dollars so around like 23 pounds which is not bad for a liquid lipstick and a lip liner that you get in here. Packaging's really cute. So you, obviously you get the lip liner and the lipstick. I know you guys will ask, but I basically paid $14 for shipping, so that's around £10. Um, this is like a rough estimation, but that's around £10 more. So altogether the purchase was around £33, I believe. And then when it came to the UK, I had to pay customs and that was £12 something. So overall it came out to 40 something for a lipstick and a lip liner which is a lot of money a lot of money like i'm super late to this like whole kylie lip kit ride and i just wanted to try one and this was like the perfect shade for me to try and i have to say i love the color i absolutely love the color i've been like bugging everyone about it like i've been like oh my god look at this color oh my god look at it look at it oh my god it's such a good color and i've just been bugging everyone because i'm just so obsessed with it it's just like my perfect nude just my perfect nude i am wearing it today and it's better it beats my mac taupe because i've i fell in love with mac taupe and it was such a nice color i will actually compare the two but it's just such a nice color so if you're the deeper complexion this will be your perfect perfect nude and even if you're darker than me or much darker you can always use a darker lip liner with it and it will be like perfect and the reason why i love it so much is because it's more on the warm side it's not more on like the burnt or the reddish or the pinky side it's just very it's like a true light warm brown that's amazing for darker skin because it just doesn't wash you out and it just acts like your perfect nude I just feel like I'm getting too excited right now. Let me just calm down. The lip liner. The lip liner is super, super creamy. I've used it so much already. I had to sharpen it. And I'll probably insert some pictures of like how it lasts after I went to a restaurant. But this is what it, how it glides on. So that's the colour. So I've tried MAC lip liners and they are creamy, but this beats it 100%. I've never felt a lip liner that's super, super, super creamy. It's just like when you put it on, it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it's like you're not putting anything on. It's just so smooth. So definitely great quality lip liner because that, I've never felt something so soft as a lip liner. So um, definitely a big thumbs up for the lip liner. And then the liquid lipstick, Once I when I carried it, I was pretty surprised at the weight because I'm not really used to, you know, such good quality packaging and you can tell this is sturdy. Now, with all this stupid drama about her, you know, like her lip kits being, a, you know, like dodgy, apparently like there wasn't enough product in there, I did check and I swirl around the edges and you can tell there's a lot of product in there. It's super sturdy, I just love the packaging, it's so cute. She did good on the packaging. And I'm just gonna swatch this for you guys. There you go. As you can tell, it's super pigmented. It smells like vanilla cupcake, so I love the smell, but it does wear off as you wear it, as it dries up. Liquid lipstick applies super light. It's super lightweight on the lips, so like right now, I feel like I have nothing on my lips. It doesn't create that 
line in the inner lip area like you know how you get that areola thing in the mid in the inner lip I don't get that with this um, it doesn't dry my lips it feels very very comfortable I don't find these drying whatsoever unless like brown sugar is very hydrating compared to the other colors but personally and I have really dry lips like today they're quite dry but they look so smooth with this on and they feel soft it doesn't transfer whatsoever um what else can I say about this it lasts all day like it doesn't budge unless you go eat to eat which I will insert a picture this picture was taken after I came back from a restaurant I went to Frankie and Benny's and ate a good steak like medium rare steak with peppercorn sauce and then a good waffle dessert with ice cream drank Pepsi like I eat like a pig and it didn't well it lasted well on the lips I mean if you are having a brighter color you'll probably see that it comes off in the inner bit but around everywhere else it stayed on and I'm pretty surprised that it did stay on because not only do I eat like a pig but it was super oily and it just took a bit off in the center and that's it and it's nothing that you can't really touch up I did bring it with me it was in my bag so um, all I did was touch up and that's it really it, it's just so long-lasting I just love it so much and I think it's by far one of, one of the best liquid lipsticks I've tried. I haven't tried that many. I haven't tried Anastasia, I haven't tried um, Dose of Colours, like there's so many liquid lipsticks out there but so far this is like my favourite, favourite one. It's just so comfortable to wear, like if I go out this would be my one to go for because it's just my type of colour and I just feel very, very comfortable wearing it. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Let me compare it to other colours. So I'm going to compare it to MAC per Persistence. So right off the bat, I thought that Persistence was quite brown, but look at brown sugar. You can tell by comparing, this is more burnt, it's more red and pinky, and this one's just like that true brownie colour. I'm going to compare well. So again, this is well and again look it's just so much warm like you can tell that's the most brown one there is I then have Bobbi Brown Hot Cocoa which is a nice brown but you can see it's more on the taupey side um, a lot of brown lipstick have that greyish taupeish bit to it that's why this is so unique because it's just completely warm toned so that's MAC taupe that's Bobbi Brown Hot Cocoa that's well persistence and that's brown sugar look at all of those and then look at brown sugar also did get a MAC spice lip liner I'm just going to compare that as well so that's MAC spice and that's brown sugar again to that's more burnt that's true brown so I think that's why I really love this color because it's just so unique and it's m nothing that I have and it's just my perfect nude. I know I've said this a lot because as I keep discovering lipsticks, but this is by far the best I've ever tried. So I'm gonna stop braving now. Oh, let me try to NYX Dubai. So I just tried NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dubai. So that's the Dubai one. It's on the same page, but again, it's very similar to that one because it's got that greyish topish bit to it and that's still more on the warmer side. So yeah, if you're around my skin colour and you're looking for a perfect nude, you just can't go wrong with brown sugar, it's just perfect and I've raved enough about it and I should stop. <laughs> I posted like so many pictures on Instagram. And make sure to follow me on Instagram by the way, it's Anushka with two S's and two A's at the end. Um, I think that's all I have to say and I, I'm i definitely giving this one a 10 out of 10 because I'm obsessed and she did really good with this one. Kylie did create the perfect, perfect, perfect nude for darker skin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you would like to see any specific video. I will have a review soon on the Huda Beauty liquid matte um, soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well and I think that's all I have to say. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys! Whew, I have to take these lashes off now. This is what happens. Put the effort to do a look, and then just take it all right off.